now we will discuss the octahedron problem a octahedron is placed in such a way that its triangular face is parallel to hp and one base edge of the triangular face is making an angle of 20 degrees with v when the tri when the triangular face is parallel to hp means automatically the axis is inclined to hp when the axis is inclined to hp you have to keep the axis perpendicular to hp when the axis is perpendicular to hp you will get the true shape inside of the base in the top view so start the problem from the top view i will draw the top view like this of 40 side and abcd is the corners of the base somewhere here i will get the apex points o and p for octahedron you will have two apex points now i will draw the projector for the center and i will draw two locus lines representing the base that is when you are seeing like this a dash d dash and p dash c dash now for the octahedron the axis length will not be given in the problem you have to find the axis length for finding the axis length what you have to do is you have to apply these straight lines inclined to both concept you consider this o c o c as a straight line which is inclined to both the reference planes so when a straight line is inclined to both the reference planes to get the true length in the front view you have to make the top view parallel to xy that's why i am making this top view that is o c parallel to xy and from that point i am drawing a projector to the front view like this then i will get this particular point from this point i can draw the arc to get the true length slant edge length is 40 so take 40 as radius this point as center this particular point as center draw an arc this particular arc length is 40 then you will get o dash bottom side also you repeat the same procedure you will get p dash now join like this to get the front view of the octahedron after getting the front view in the second stage what you have to do is you have to keep this triangular face you have to keep this triangular face parallel to hp that means you take a line parallel to xy and the one end you call as p dash and the other end is some b dash c dash that length is this particular length then from p dash taking o, o dash p dash as radius draw an arc and draw another arc from b dash and c dash taking this particular length as radius then automatically you will get o dash point join like this and from p dash draw a parallel to this line and complete this you will get the second front view after drawing the second front view when you are seeing from the top now your view direction is something like this when you are seeing like this this particular base o a d is visible o b a is visible o d c is visible invisible is o b c draw the projectors like this and obtain all the points o d a o is visible that is this particular triangular face then when you are seeing like this o a b that is this face that is also visible o d c is also visible o a b is also visible and here this face is also visible pad pad is also visible and only invisible is pbc pbc that is the invisible part after getting this this particular ad or bc that is making an angle of 20 degrees with vp because ad and bc are parallel if you take any uh, base edges difference you know it has no difference that's why i am taking ad the third stage i will represent that edge inclination i will draw a line parallel to xy i will take point d i will draw a 20 degree line and i will mark point a along that 20 degree line then 
I am going to draw this particular line for getting other points and take this distance and mark that here then you will get point P on the other side if you mark you will get point O ok then join like this join like this now you take this length from here represent it then automatically you will get B other side you will get C join like this then your reconstruction of the second top is over now when you are seeing like this what are the faces visible that you have to identify now when you are seeing like this O B C is visible O B A is visible O C D is visible invisible is P A D ok now try to get those points here and draw the visible and invisible face edges this is O dash A dash B dash O A dash O dash A dash B dash that is visible that means this this face visible here I will get C dash now O C D that is also visible so I will get I have to represent D point okay, somewhere here I will get D that is also visible O B C that is also visible O B C that is also visible then paint point P is somewhere here P J D invisible P A D that is invisible that means this line this line these two are invisible these two are invisible this is the final front view